Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to thank all of you guys who send me all these articles. I can't always keep track of who sends me what, but thank you all. I read them all, unless they're bullshit. But um, this one wasn't, and it was very interesting. So uh, let's read. Veggie versus fish. Cornell's nutrigenomics study proves we are each pre-wired for one specific diet. The slow and painful death of ideological veganism has begun. Look, I got no problem with whatever the hell you want to eat. It's your human right. Even if you want to be plant-based and one day, hopefully, become this strong and muscular herbivore 60 fucking generations down the line if your genes make it that far seeing as traditionally naturally carnivores do eat herbivores better watch your ass anyway we are each pre-wired for one specific diet no one diet no cure-all diet no you eat what i tell you to eat right it's unethical and unscientific the death blow is here happy days let's read a little bit of this article maybe even the whole thing a fascinating new study from cornell university has discovered that each human body is genetically pre-wired for a specific kind of diet shit it even rhymes Cornell researchers describe a genetic variation that has evolved in populations that have historically favored vegetarian diets, such as India, Africa, and parts of East Asia. And another study I was talking about in some other video showed how there is, seems to be a link between a vegetarian diet, I believe this was in India, and higher incidence of heart disease, right? I'm not sure if they found any mechanistic explanations or at least not yet. I don't know, but I'll link that article, uh, that video. A different version of this gene, called an allele, adapted to a marine diet, was discovered among the Inuit in Greenland, who mainly consume seafood. The vegetarian allele evolved in populations that have eaten plant-based diet, a plant-based diet, for over hundreds of generations. Hundreds of generations! Shit! Ugh. I said 60. <laughs> I hadn't read this article yet. The adaptation allows these people to efficiently process omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids and convert them into compounds essentially essential for brain development and controlling inflammation. So, just as Homegrown Big found out with his genetic tests, he is the opposite of this, right? He cannot convert process omega-3s and 6s, or omega-3s from plants, right? He has to get them from animal sources. In populations that lived on plant-based plant diets, this genetic variation provided an advantage and was positively selected in those groups. In Inuit populations of Greenland, the researchers uncovered that a previously identified adaptation is opposite to the one found in long-standing vegetarian populations. Shit, I just covered that. While the vegetarian allele has an insertion of 22 bases, a base is a building block of DNA within the gene, this insertion was found to be deleted in the seafood allele. Huh. Simply put, some people have to eat animal products, fish preferably, to get their... DHA and EPA, omega-3 fatty acids. They can't convert ALA, which is the only omega-3 fatty acid found in plants. I mean, there might be some notable exceptions like seafood. Not all kinds of seafood here and there, right? But uh, that's a very recent food. And there are a lot of problems with uh, eating seafood anyway. Or sorry, seaweed. So... Long story short, like I said, some people have these carnivorous genes. Exciting stuff. Continuing, 
the opposite allele is likely driving adaptation in Inuit, said Ka Xiong Yi, <laughs> co lead author of the paper appearing March 29th in the journal Molecular Biology and Evolution. Yi is a postdoctoral researcher in the lab of Alan Keenan, associate professor of biological statistics, and blah blah blah. Boring. We'll skip through this part. Our study is the first to connect an insertion allele with vegetarian diets. I wonder if that's the study I was talking about. And the deletion allele with a marine diet. Mm -hmm. What other alleles, genes are there, right? When it comes to eating ruminants versus uh, monogastric digester like the pig, right? Some people don't do so well on pork. Some people do very well on pork, like Okinawans or Hong Kongese. Some people prefer red meat. Fascinating stuff. FADS1 and FADS2 are enzymes that are essential for converting omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids into downstream products needed for brain development and controlling inflammation. Meat and seafood eaters have less need for increased FADS1 and FADS2 enzymes to get proper nutrition because their omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acid conversion process is simpler and requires fewer steps. This study is based on previous work from by co-senior author Tom Brenna. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think that was the study I was talking about earlier. Yi, Keenan, and colleagues analyzed frequencies in the vegetarian allele in 234 primarily vegetarian Indians and 311 U.S. individuals and found the vegetarian allele in 68% of the Indians and in just 18% of Americans. This would explain to you why so many American vegans fail. This, this is one of the reasons probably, right? On the vegan diet. Analysis using data from the 1000 Genomes Project similarly found the vegetarian allele in 70% of South Asians, 53% of Africans, 29% of East Asians, and 17% of Europeans. Listen up, white people. Why do you think they're selling you this vegan diet? Why do you think they're pushing it onto you first and foremost? Why do you think that is? Fucking hell. Anyway, I'm not going to read any more of this article on camera or live or whatever. You know what I'm saying. I'm going to go read this in private by myself I wanted to let you know that it exists and I wanted this on record as yet more proof that we can't be vegan because even though even though some of us can do okay on a vegetarian diet right where are the vegan populations that have been evolving vegan genes so to speak where are those you guys the current vegans you are it you are on the front lines you are the frontier that's why you're experiencing so many fucking negative health effects because you're not supposed to be eating this way and you're effectively probably mutating your fucking dna and very few of you will do good enough to be able to reproduce and your babies will be likely to inherit some of this mutated DNA and then maybe they'll be able to do just well enough on the shit diet to be able to make more babies so on and so forth and then one day after hundreds of generations yeah some of your genetic material will mutating over and over again by eating the shit diet will result in an herbivorous human something that has never existed on this planet at least not to our knowledge but many other genetic lines people who do this vegan diet well they're either going to quit because if not it's going to kill them make them sterile right they're not going to be passing their genes on if not in this generation, maybe the next. And your genetic stock is going to disappear, wither away, literally. But some of you, 
definitely, you know, if, if you persist for hundreds of generations, hundreds of generations of frail freaks, complete and utter weaklings, one day, once your DNA had mut has mutated enough, well, you'll adapt and you'll become these also powerful and muscular herbivores. Or in other words, carnivore food. So, good luck with that. Take it easy.